I'm going to show you how we can set up multiple outputs within Contact 3 in Logic. First thing, I've got Software Instrument Track. I'm going to make it multi-timbral because Contact can receive on up to 16 independent MIDI channels. So you've got the 16 listed here. Just going to open up the inspector on the left-hand side. You can see MIDI channel 1, MIDI channel 2, 3, and so on. So it enables you to build up a track idea with one instance. So onto the in and out section, down to instruments, native instruments, contact three. I'm going to select the 16 stereo version. Contact can potentially have 32 outputs. That's mono. So that means 16 stereo makes a good usage of those 32. So basically you can see in front of us, we have two stereo channels, one surround bus. Now, to be honest with you, the surround stuff is redundant for most of us because we're making stereo music. So that's a waste of the channels. So we're going to have to set these up. Just going to click on the config on stereo 2 so you can see what's happening. There's a summary of how many channels it's taking up here. So it's two. That's going to be the left and the right. And these are currently taking up channels 3 and 4 of the potential 32. The surround bus has got six channels here. I'm going to reduce this up here to two. And now you can see it's using plugin outputs five and six. So that makes sense. We're going to have to just rename stuff here. So let's just do the stereo three. Click OK. You always get this message every time we try and change the configuration of a channel. So just click OK. You can ignore it pretty much for the moment. Three stereo channels. Let's click on add channel. Once again, ignore the message. It's so annoying. I don't know why they have to do this every time we change it, but it's the way it is. So if these were the first two, one and two, then three and four, stereo three was five and six. This is going to be seven and eight. So we've got a count. It doesn't actually list it as seven and eight here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven and eight. Okay, so here we go. You can see only now, once you've selected it, does it confirm that it's seven and eight. A little bit annoying, but it's just the way contact is at the moment. ST4, you can see it's going to take quite a while to do this, so I'm not going to do everything, I'm just going to do the first eight. So stereo four, four stereo channels. Let's do the same again. Ignore the message, just come down. We're going to do stereo five. So if it was seven, eight, you've got count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to be on nine and ten now. And this one is ST.5. Click OK. You can see these are building up, so I'll just do a few more. Add channel. Once you've done this, it's done. You don't have to worry about it again. All right. It's uh, you can save the default, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. So just coming down for these two, 11 and 12, and let's make this st.6. Click OK. Couple more. Let's get this one in there. In fact, I'm just gonna create the next one just so I can see them there. So seven and eight, here we go. ST seven. Let's come down the list. Trying to remember which one it was. There we go. Just remembering that I was on the auxiliary the second one last time. So there we go, 13, 14. The next one's gonna be 15 and 16. So nearly there. As I said, once it's done, it's done. We can save this. So let's get that sorted out. Uh, let's rename this ST8. So let's just check 13, 14. Yeah, this is 15 and 16. So eight stereo outputs. So that'll pretty much do for the moment. As I said, if you want to do the rest, you can repeat the process up to stereo 16. Now what we do next is we click on make default. This will store the output configuration we've created. Okay, so that means we won't have to do it again. In order for this to be updated in Logic though, you're gonna to need to unload and then reload. So if I say no plugin, gonna take it out. Gonna now drop down instruments, native instruments, contact three, 16 stereo, gonna load it up. And now you can see the output configuration. So as I said, once it's done, it's done. You don't have to worry about it. If you want to actually select an output, let me just pick up something here. Um, let's just go to a drum kit. 
you would choose which of the outputs that you actually want to actually send signal through by dropping down the output here okay so that's the way it works you can see it's coming through on number two there let's go over the first one and then and so on three so that's the way it works with contact set up your outputs first make a default do that before you're going to do any work all right because it means that life's a lot easier once it's finished